Welcome to the Luxrye VMS video tutorial. This tutorial will guide you through the process of creating new users and editing existing users as well as allowing access to certain cameras and archives. Please right click on server title in structure pane to the left. This will now bring you to a drop down menu where you can select tasks and click on server security setup wizard. This will now bring us to the server security setup wizard. Please click on create a new user and then click next. Please provide user details if necessary. User login name, user password and password confirmation is mandatory. You can add an email and a comment if you prefer. Please click next button to continue. Here you can configure system access permissions. Please review global scope permissions. You can use check marks to grant or revoke certain permissions. And after finish, you can click next to continue. You can also click on the checkbox to configure individual camera access permissions for a more detailed permission list. Click on the next button to continue. If you selected to configure individual device permissions in previous step, you will be able to set up more detailed restrictions or permissions for each camera. You can drop down the menu where it says device to select the device that you would like to configure. After selecting device, it will give you all permissions for that device. You can also click to filter permissions. If you would like to select all devices, drop down the menu where it says device and select all devices. This will give you an option to configure all devices. You can also filter all devices by permission by dropping down menu and selecting permission. After setting permissions, click on the next button. This will bring you to an action summary. You can review requested action details and after finished, you can click next button. We are now finished creating a new user in the server security setup wizard. Please click finish button. Editing the current user works completely the same way. Please click modify existing user permissions, highlight the user that you want to modify, then click next. You can modify existing user details here. When finished, click the next button. To reiterate from before, you can select access permissions here. Click next button when finished. After reviewing action summary, click next button. This completes the wizard in modifying a user in the server security setup wizard. In big projects, it would be easier to set up user groups and add users to it. We will now go over on how to use the server security manager. First, right click on the server title in the structure pane to the left. Then in the menu, highlight tasks. Another menu will appear, then select manage server security. This will then open up the server security manager. Please click on users. After clicking users in the structure to the left, to the right it will show you a list of users. You can right click on the white empty space, it will give you a drop down, then select create user. You can also click on create user group. Once we click on create user group, it will bring us to the user group properties. Here you can create a name for the user group. After typing in a user group name, please click on members tab. In the members tab, you can add the users to the group to allow them to use the same set of permissions. Just put a check mark next to the user.
After selecting user or users, click apply button. Then click the OK button. An information pop-up box will pop up showing you that once a user is created, you may wish to review the permissions to grant desired ones to the createe. Alternatively, you would like to include the createe on some of the existing user groups so that existing permission assignments are extended to the createe. Click OK to continue. Now please click on device permissions in the structure pane to the left. After clicking on device permissions, you will get a list of all the devices. Please right-click on device permissions and click on bulk security setup. This will then bring up the bulk device permission setup wizard. Please click on the next button to continue. Here you will see all available devices that permissions can be assigned to. Select device or devices then hit the next button to continue. You can now select which privileges you would like to assign to those devices. Then click next to continue. Please click setup permissions button. This will then bring up an information box. Please click on the OK button. Here you can add users or groups for listed devices to work with the permissions. Please select required user or user group then click allow to allow current setting to work with the selected user or user group. Please click on the apply button. Then click on the OK button. Please click on the next button. The bulk device permission setup wizard is now completed. Please click on the finish button. LuxRiot user management also allows you to audit actions of all users. Please right click on computer. After right-clicking on computer, it will bring a drop-down where you can select Manage. Please click on the arrow to the left of Event Viewer. Please then select Applications and Services. Then select LuxRide DVR for logs. Here you can see all the actions that were made on the server computer. Please note that these logs will be available only on the server computer. The following information is available in the order file. What time was the action done? What action was done? The username and from what address? This now concludes the process in creating new users and editing existing users as well as allowing access to certain cameras and archives in LuxRiot.